That door opens. You better. <laughs> Again, a female voice can be heard calling out to Giovanni, even though he's completely alone in the house. He suddenly hears loud footsteps charging toward him, and he just makes a run for it. Sell the place. If it's an apartment, tell the landlord, you, I am out. I'm dipping. You could keep security because I got no security. Okay? Keep the sh I'm out. Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, dude. It's midnight, 12.30 a.m. And here I am. Tomorrow's Halloween for me. Tomorrow is the day that the dead rise. And how do I celebrate? With Nuke's Top 5. 14 hours ago, Mr. Nuke himself uploaded a video called Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos to Freak You Out. In the last Nuke video, that Mexico one really scared the hell out of me. Truly did. I'm going to listen to you guys more often. I have a list of what you guys recommend to me. But again, I want something scary. I need something fearful. Something to get my adrenaline. Something that would make me jump. And I got that from one of you guys. Ghost stories, a lot of people believe that it could be a what if, it could be hoax, and it could produce skeptics. These videos could be faked. These videos could be altered. These videos could be, I'm being devil's advocate. I definitely enjoy Nuke's video for the more horror aspect to it that actually get me like scared as hell. But I'm a skeptic as well. I'm like you guys as well. I saw a few comments from both TikTok and on YouTube. People who believe in this is a joke. It could be real. It could be fake. No one really knows. There's so much unknowns in this spiritual quote unquote universe. This could be real. This could be fake. If you guys do know more creators that dabbles in the same stories as Nuke, let me know in the comment section. I am thoroughly enjoying this. I truly thought I was going to only do this for October. I'm having fun with this. I'm actually enjoying uploading this kind of stuff. It might become a little staple on my channel. I might have to make an own playlist for scary reactions. Let me know in the comment section of the direction that we should go as a family. These videos would not be possible without you guys. And without me, this video would not exist. I mean, obviously the original video exists, but me reacting to it would not exist if I didn't exist. If I didn't exist, I'd be in a nuke video as a ghost. Did you see it? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, let's get into today's video. We're in this shit. 10 videos this time. Let's get into it. Woo. Run. Anonymous TikTok user right. VV11 says that for the last two years, he's been dealing with unnerving paranormal activity in his home in Texas. He says that it's gotten so bad that he can't sleep without the lights on. So, one night one of his friends is sleeping over when VV11 begins to hear strange sounds coming from his bedroom closet. So you grab like holy water. Hey, get up. Get up. Get up. What you recording me for? You hear? Listen. Sleep. BB11 wakes up his friend and opens the closet door only to find nothing inside. Or why his homie on now the floor his though? He's actually skeptical and really just seems to be very annoyed by the whole ordeal. But either way, TikTok user BB11 makes it his mission to record evidence of his terrifying experiences. Late one night when he's all no alone, shits. he hears sounds coming from the hallway just outside his bedroom. 
He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. What happens next is downright chilling. Nope. Okay, guys, I think this might be the last time. But I? A strange, bizarrely shaped dark figure charges toward him and he quickly Char slams his door shut. Oh, yeah, it is charged. What do you think this could be? Is BV11's home haunted or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It is a. Paranormal investigators That's what we're gonna Jeff, do. Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations are invited oh, this to spend the night at the 900-year-old ruins of the haunted Merton Priory Chapter House in London, England. From the okay. years 1114 to 1538, the Chapter House oh, was a 1114. Room and part of a gigantic cathedral that no longer exists today. Museum trustee John Hawkes believes that UK a has a lot of old buildings. Haunts the ancient ruins. Uh, I'm um, sorry. I I've always felt that there was a presence here. There was an extraordinary atmosphere. We may be under a road on slabs of concrete, but but I, I think that the, the the kind of spirit we have here. This is like season 87 of Ghost Adventures. I can just picture fucking Zach Bagans doing this shit until he's like 93 years old. Look at look at the glasses. Look at the scully. Look at the outfit. Look at the EVP coming out of his hand. This is Zach Bagans in about. 54 years how old is Zach? well he's not young he's not old either he's not middle-aged so i'm sorry zach don't 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 yell at me but again i can see season 87 of ghost adventures and just seeing this shit zach i love you i love the show please invite me to your museum i actually do want to go i did not mean any defamation no that's not defamation I didn't mean any harm. No, I didn't mean any ill intent. Did not mean to bully. Did not mean to cyber bully because it's being recorded through the internet. Did not mean to cyber bully you, Zach. Uh, this is not you in 50 years. Even though it will be. Here is a very benign one. In this room in the chapter house, yeah, I mean, you're familiar with going into large churches and finding graves under the floor. Yeah. In this room there hmm. were 31 graves under the floor 31, 31 graves were dug up as the trustee mentions the ruins were excavated in the late 1980s and 31 bodies were found buried it's like under paris the with the crypts the bodies are believed to be the remains of monks from the cathedral and it is thought that many passed away from the plague that yeah. night the ghost that. team sets up their static cameras and begin their investigation Jeff sits on the, the floor stones asking are like questions faces. of the scary. spirit, and then things take a terrifying turn. If there's something that you can do to let us know that you can hear my voice, please move something, even throw something at me, I don't mind. At least I know that you're here and that you're listening. Now I guess I must be sitting on top of where lots of the skeletons were found. Yeah. Can you come and take a seat next to me? Oh, Grandpa booked it. Oh, Grandpa booked it. I felt the floor move behind me and I heard footsteps right up behind me. Can you come and take a seat next to me? I heard it. Grandpa off the right has disappeared. When we review the footage and audio, the footsteps are louder on Static Cam 1. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 1. This is Zach at the years, 100%. Can you come and take a seat next to me? Oh, hell yeah. Hi there. I heard you. Sorry, you made me jump. Jeff jumps up in so shock polite. as he feels movement on the floor. So he British. He's so nice. Right behind him. Now, Jeff is normally very calm and composed during their investigations. 
but he freaks right out and even drops his recorder to the floor and almost breaks it as he jumps to his feet. However, the Ghost Tech team has no idea that they captured something even more shocking. Uh oh, a static any camera recording the ruins where the 31 bodies were found captures something truly eerie. Uh oh. Oh, it's a pixelated shadow. Oh, it's walking. And it turns into the, the hallway. The seems to walk from the preserved coffins on display against the back wall and simply disappears into thin air. Oh, it turns into the hallway. The or ghost door. The team has no explanation for what they captured and they believe that they might have recorded paranormal evidence of the spirit that is said to haunt the Chapter House Museum. Yeah, you can it watch walked, this entire investigation and, and many more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. What type of kids were you guys? Did you did like stick people walking like this? Or did you just stick people walking like this? Or did you did you do middle finger and ring finger as the way of walking? Or did you do pinky finger? Did you do index finger with middle finger as a way of walking? Me with ADHD saw this was more better with middle finger and index fingers because if you look about it if you if you look about it in this angle uh look about it in this angle it could i don't know what the fuck a thumb is probably a a, a tumor but if you put the thumb away you could fight with your fingers and then this could be the way you walk um yeah you go walk and then punch Kick, kick, and then jump, 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 kick. You could just do like, you're like, like, I'm flipping you guys off. Uh, you could ring finger. You could just go like that, and that's your kick. And then again, you could just punch, punch. If you found a great ghost video online or recorded one yourself, please send it my way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I'm sorry. And an arcade. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the mm, source for this next video, but from what I have gathered, the footage was captured by security cameras at an abandoned pachinko arcade in Nogano, Japan. It Why is, is it Japan? The ghost of a young girl is often seen inside this abandoned arcade. The CCTV footage seems to show a policeman investigating after an alarm in the abandoned arcade was set off by something. What happens next is downright chilling. Yeah, if you get a, a security alert on an abandoned place. Oh, top left. I saw it. And it disappears. <gasps> no. What? No. It looks like the figure of a young girl can be seen following the policeman. And it has a doll. He doesn't see or hear anything. When the policeman turns to leave, the girl can be seen suddenly crouching nearby. So now, she's holding a doll. No source, we'll probably just never know what happened. Could so be altered. The footage there's no source. Unexplained. Yo, that's if that's real. My haunted mm. hotel. Like she had a doll in her so hand. You might recall from our previous story on Nuke like this. 5 that at the allegedly very haunted Ye Old King's Head Inn in Chester, England, the owner, along with his two friends, actually allow curious ghost seekers to spend the night at the 400 year old inn. Are y'all people in Britain okay? Do, do y'all need like a cleansing? Because everything has been coming like in, in Britain or in the UK. Y'all good? And investigate the paranormal activity for themselves. And the that was scary. Find something spooky. It's all captured by their 16 CCTV cameras and posted to their YouTube channel. Oh, Hotel. okay, this channel. Well, since our last update, some new spooky incidents have been caught on camera at the hotel. Of course, there are the usual hotel guests who come in as skeptics with a bit of an attitude. It's right there, right? Oh, Katie, no. Look at her. She did it. Really? Yeah, no, <laughs> it's not funny, Katie. You know this I'm is the, the doll. What are you carrying it for? Oh, she's got a bare <laughs> side to the back, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
But then when something invisible oh, comes on your door, dumpy. it's likely to change your skeptical oh, mind. But it could be laughter. Oh, is there a orb? Is there a child? Are you outside that door? Ah! Oh, fucking oh, 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 That's gotta be the door. That is the, is the door. Oh my god. You outside that door? <laughs> but they have caught some other chilling evidence uh. that even freaks out the My Haunted Hotel team. In this clip, the team is gathered in the restaurant of the hotel with a group of guests when they experience something that shocks them all. I need to hear you, Charles. I need to know who you are. Is your surname Griffith? What? The glass fell off. The second piece of evidence is just as astonishing as the first, and we are able to document this moment from four different cameras, which clearly capture what we deem to be poltergeist activity as a glass is flung from the function room bar. I need to know who you are. Is your surname Griffith? Is your surname Griffith? Okay, is there a camera angle behind the desk? Is your surname Griffith? I, I didn't even get on to the fact that there were glasses on the bar, so when something made a noise, I thought something had just moved behind this bar until Phoebe screamed in my face that it was the glass. <laughs> Look, th there is no way. It, it flings back this way. Like, th there's just no way. But that's not all that mm. they've captured at the inn over the last month. In mm. the middle of the day, a security camera in the hallway outside mm. room five captures something the My Haunted Hotel team just can't explain. Okay. A shadow figure seems to just materialize at the end of the hallway and then quickly disappears. Mm. Harry, Brett, and Danny are shocked and thrilled by what their security camera caught on video. The team says that they have always hoped to capture a full-bodied apparition on video in the hotel. So, to watch many more spooky incidents that the team and hotel guests experience within Ye Old King's Head Inn, you can go to the YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Beware the purple chair. Proud Mother Martina claims that she and her family are terrorized by a dark supernatural entity that haunts oh their home. Oh my god, they're haunted by Coco Melon. Damn it. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Martina has set up a series of static cameras to keep a safe watch on her children, but she also caught some footage that is absolutely unnerving. This kid's unbothered. Playing Minecraft. Leave him alone. Two doors move by themselves and the boy calls for his mother, but otherwise doesn't seem that concerned. But as he continues to play his video game, his chair is forcefully pushed backwards, finally sending the boy running from mama. Yeah. Cut to another day and Martina is casually vacuuming the hallway carpet. Then this Let my chair move like that. I'm dipping. What's wrong with you? 
Again, a door moves by itself and Martina's vacuum seems to float into the air as she hysterically slaps and screams at it until it just drops back to the ground. But the creepy activity doesn't stop there. Martina and her son are home alone one night when the living room security camera captures this. Oh, it's pulling on her. The outside door opens and closes on its own as the door handle rapidly rotates as if being turned by some invisible force. Martina grabs her phone and is about to record the door when the purple desk chair suddenly glides toward her and her son. The two have had enough and are about to hurry out of the living room, but something seems to forcefully pull at Martina's sweater. So is this real poltergeist activity caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Again, you, you have something caught. Passing through. This. Popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urban Santa Excel Maria Madre de Dios. Santa Maria Madre de Dios. Santa Maria Madre de Dios. That's all you need. An abandoned and allegedly haunted factory that was built back in 1916 <laughs> and That's has been deserted for over 50 years. Chris makes his first on screen appearance in this video and just saying, but he looks like he could probably kick a ghost out. But even he starts to get a bit freaked out as he explores the old factory. Soon after arriving, Chris captures something very creepy on camera. Uh oh. I wonder what these things are used for. It's like these shells are all connected, it seems like. Brother Mary, come on. A dark figure can be seen quickly moving out of sight at the end of a small tunnel system. But in the dark, Chris doesn't even notice the strange shape and just continues exploring. Chris sets up a static infrared camera to record himself as he checks out the main hall of the factory. What happens mm. next is downright chilling. Nah, I did it. That was loud. Nah, I'm Helen Keller, brother. I don't hear nothing. What the hell? What the f what the f was that? What the f was that noise? Back against Did the wall. See it? See it? Right after Chris is startled by a loud noise, a pale translucent figure seems to actually pass into his body, and he spins around as he feels something that gives oh, him chills. The thing is in the bottom right that corner is tiny as hell. I can't see. Yeah, he got touched. He yeah, 100% got touched. Almost immediately, another figure appears in a door frame on the left and seems to be watching Chris. And things just get worse. Worse? Chris is suddenly struck with extreme nausea and unfortunately, kind of, uh, well, he pukes. I muted the audio and blurred the video because it's a little gross. Yeah. But I wanted to leave the scene in because something happens to Chris right at this moment that is truly bizarre. It's attaching to him. It left his body. The same translucent figure from before seems to leave Chris's body as he vomits violently. Now, viewers of Chris's YouTube channel believe that he had an encounter with a demonic presence yeah. and that something sinister actually entered and left his body. Yeah. But what do you think? Yeah, I, I, I think this that. This entire exploration and many more adventures in creepy abandoned yeah. places. He was being followed. Channel, 
Urbex Hill. Got attached on? The doppelganger. They got what he wanted Giovanni and it Lima was living a quiet life with his girlfriend Laura in Sao Paulo, Brazil. But lately he says their lives have been turned upside down by some truly terrifying events. One night, the couple falls asleep on the couch in the living room when Giovanni is woken up by a very disturbing sound. Mimicking the voice. Oh my God. Giovanni's girlfriend Laura is asleep on the couch right next to him, but chillingly he hears what sounds like her voice coming from somewhere down the hall. Yeah. In another video, Giovanni that's, says that he began to feel very ill shortly spirits. after this incident, and, and that nature to go does. To the hospital. As he's filming his chilling story, something happens that he simply can't explain. Muita gente tava pedindo explicações, então eu vim aqui trazer explicações agora. É, eu gravei aquele vídeo ontem de madrugada, quando eu tava dormindo com a minha namorada na sala da casa dela inteiro. É, eu comecei a laçar mal, inexplicavelmente, no meio do, do rolê. Eu, no meio do dia eu comecei a passar mal, tive que ir pro hospital. Então eu também fiquei ausente por causa disso. E agora eu tô fazendo aqui as respostas, a resposta do que que aconteceu realmente ali naquele lugar. E... I was like, you better not tell my fucking story. You might mind your business. <laughs> yep. He's like, you better say your ass quiet, apparently not tell them what happened. You about to cancel the live on TikTok. Yeah, a porta do meu quarto acabou de abrir. I heard you talking shit. Oh! <gasps> Did I just saw what I think I just saw? Giovanni's bedroom door opens by itself, but when he peeks out into the hallway, there's no one there. Cut to a week later. Giovanni's uh, I saw, home I saw, and things take okay. an even more terrifying bro turn. just move people move out i'm no it's expensive Jeez. or um there's dust particles that door opens you better <laughs> Again, a female voice can be heard calling out to Giovanni, even though he's completely alone in the house. He suddenly hears loud footsteps charging toward him, and he just makes a run for it. Fucking sell the place. If it's an apartment, tell the landlord, fuck you. I am out. I'm dipping. You could keep security because I got no security. Okay? Keep the shit. I'm out keep my furniture because they're they're clearly owned by this entity i'm out i'm gone keep security keep my rent if you get pope francis to come and pack my stuff that is the only way i could get my stuff not only is this thing mimicking the voice this thing literally started running towards him that is in all counts That is in all counts to just getting the hell out of there. Sorry, my camera died. And I just, the first thing I thought was, I'm gonna stop talking and just finish this video because apparently something else doesn't want me to talk about. Giovanni has no idea this why motherfucker transversed through the multiverses of the Some internet. Of concerned viewers believe that he might be dealing with a skinwalker or a doppelganger pretending to be his girlfriend. So now, Three months go by and Giovanni is happy to report that nothing paranormal has happened since his last video. And it seems like he just jinxed it all. Because soon after, he and his girlfriend wake up in the middle of the night to strange sounds just outside their bedroom door. What's happening again? Did you hear it? I 
carajo. Whatever is haunting the couple is back, and it seems angry. Yeah, so FBI what is do you there. What is going on here? Let me know down in the comments. Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Kent Burris from the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine might seem very familiar as yeah. I've featured updates on his yeah. continuing story many times on Nuke's Top 5. Kent has spent five years of his life documenting the disturbing paranormal activity he experiences day and night in his home in Carmel, Maine. Lately, Kent has captured even more terrifying paranormal encounters. One day, Kent is home alone and working in his office when he hears voices and bangs coming from somewhere inside his house. He quickly grabs his phone and hits record. You making noise? Oh. You making noise upstairs? Jesus. Yeah. To another early morning, Kent has fallen asleep for the night with his TV on, but at around 5 a.m. some strange sounds wake him up. He quickly turns on a light and when he looks up, he sees something at the foot of his bed that chills him to his core. He immediately grabs his phone and hits record. What the hell? What? A dark shadow figure can be seen standing at the end of the bed. What? Slightly moving or perhaps even vibrating before it just disappears. Yeah, my man just vibing going like that doing. So what do you think is going on in Kent's home? I don't Kent's know. What's up? Let me know. Weird dance. You can watch many more paranormal moments over on Kent's YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. He's doing the laser dance anthem. The Night Flyer. The this Night Flyer was sent like to me by superhero top movie. Five viewer Mark from Greenland. So one evening, Mark is out in the snow with his daughter, walking the family dog. But Mark's daughter spots something truly bizarre up on the hill. A strange dark figure can be seen floating in the sky between apartment buildings. Mark misses it and just doesn't understand what his daughter is pointing at. He only realizes what she saw when he reviews his footage back at home. Now Mark believes they might have captured a supernatural being known as a Kivitok. An aggressive supernatural entity from Greenland folklore. Look, I saw Naruto. Anyway, what do you think this could be? Let me know. Down Who's in the Naruto comments. running? Hidden in the dark. For the last three months, popular oh, okay, hidden leaf. hunter Franco TV has been on an extensive trip through several countries to explore the most haunted and downright dangerous locations in South America. Now, not too oh. long ago, I featured Frank's mm. terrifying exploration of the Presbytero Maestro Cemetery in Lima, Peru, where Ooh. he captured some shocking moments that are still unexplained to this day. Mm -mm, not a cemetery, not especially in the South America area. Spanish countries you do not fuck with. After many requests from his viewers, Frank decides to go back to the cemetery in hopes of capturing even more paranormal activity. As he's making his way through the giant cemetery, he begins to hear odd sounds coming from somewhere nearby. Okay. Hear it. Hear it, that. Wait. Right over there. Wasn't there a shadow there? Now, Frank is a little spooked by the strange sounds, but what he Frank doesn't is real. seem to notice is that someone or something seems to be I... lurking just behind the tombstones. 
I know it. I saw that. Frank shrugs off the sounds and continues to explore, making his way through the giant graveyard. That's when he captures mm. something downright creepy. Mm. I'm going to start heading towards the side area where people end their lives. I kind of want to look at this place. See if I could probably get some stock footage from it or something. What the hell is that? What? Hold on. It was dark as hell. I couldn't see nothing. I saw something small there. Brightened and enhanced, the pale face can be seen looking out from inside one of the crypts. Frank spots the peeking face and quickly hurries over to look inside the crypt. But there's no one there. The cemetery is dark and it's hard to see, so Frank believes that he might have just captured a reflection from something inside the crypt. He again shrugs off the bizarre uh, event as something that can just be He's explained. the only person there, reflection, what that angle. Next? is absolutely uh, horrifying. Uh, kind of hard to place that together. That's the front door there. That is creepy. That's the basement area. Right in there. Whoa. I see another gunshot over there. Gunshot? Did you see it? Now let's watch that again, but this time I'll brighten up and enhance the footage. That is creepy. That's the basement area. Oh, I knew I kind of saw something. There. Something can be seen standing right at the bottom of the crypt stairs. But when Frank shines his flashlight, it just seems to disappear. So could this ominous figure belong to the person buried inside the crypt? Protecting it. You decide. You it. can watch this entire exploration series of the Presbytero Ooh. Maestro Cemetery over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Thanks so much for watching. You're probably tired of me saying this, but my upload schedule is crazy. So please subscribe aye, and click aye, the aye. notification. The things I do for you guys. Again, subscribe to Nuke. It's one o'clock in the morning for me, guys. Ah, I thought it was a good idea because tomorrow's Halloween. Uh, I hate myself sometimes. I love you guys so much. This should prove that I truly do love you guys. And if you think I am bullshitting. Ooh, 111. Ooh, spooky. Again, if you think I'm lying, secondary phone. 1111. What? 1111. 111. Oh, it just changed. I love you guys too much. On that. No, hope you guys could go to bed because I can't and I won't, unfortunately. Mm. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, guys, love your faces. And I'm out. Peace.